What is up family? It's your boy V. Welcome to the crib for the very first time. We are going to be doing a catch and cook. And we don't have to travel that far. We're going to do some backyard fishing. There is a nice little stream that's in the back that I've caught uh, multiple fish from. Today our goal is to get a catfish and cook it for the very first time. However, there's a confession I have to make. I don't actually eat fish. Um, I don't know, it's the taste, the past chefs haven't made it to my liking. I thought we'd give it a try and I don't know, maybe I might love fish after this. All right guys, we got our stuff. We're gonna head out to the back and uh, let's see if we can get a catfish. Today I'm just gonna keep it simple. I have my main line and I put a egg weight and I put just the swivel with my leader and a small little hook for bait. I'm just gonna use some night crawler worms and that's basically it. So we just want one. As soon as we get one catfish, that's it. In the state of Texas, it has to be 12 inches long. So as soon as I get a keeper, that's it. No more fishing. We're going to go straight to cutting edge to try to eat the fish as fresh as possible. Straight from the water to the kitchen. So I think that's going to be unique. Maybe there is a big taste difference. Yeah, but just one and done. It has to be 12 inches. I got the measuring tape. Let's get it. That's too tiny of a catfish, y'all. That's not what we're going for. <laughs> Look at that. That is a baby. Look at that little baby. Look at that. I didn't even know that was in here. This fish have the most beautiful colors. That is awesome. Go from that. Yippee. Another little one. This one's even different than the other one we got. Now what Whoop. we're looking for. You got a little jiggle going on there? Just in this one? It looked like it. Getting jiggy with it. It was a false alarm. Ah. Close, but no cigar. What in the hell is that? Is that a spider? Oh, hell no. Got him? Oh my god, yeah. Oh. He's a big boy. Got it, got it. What do you think it is? Uh, it's a carp. Sir. Yeah, that's a good size right there. Right, no catfish yet, but we managed this big carp on the ultralight, so that was a lot of fun. Look at that muscles, boy. Look at that. Look at that definition. God damn, son. Boom. 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 We're out in public camp. Guns out here. Don't got these babies registered. So. <laughs> <laughs> You're catching fish out here, no doubt, but not the big catfish. And I know that there's bigger catfish out here. So. 
No, 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 no. No more. Oh, All right. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, Look where you're standing. Look at all those ants. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Cameraman down. Cameraman down. Uh, we're still out here fishing. It's been tough. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, it's not been easy. I mean, we've been getting uh, fish. We've been getting bites, no doubt, but just not the catfish. Normally, when I come out here in a non catching cook, always can land a catfish and today is just not happening for some reason i'm just catching a tan we did get a big carp and then a smaller carp and like two small little catfish oh and some other small little dinks but um not the catfish that we want we're gonna keep on trying but let's see what happens Is it really? Yeah. Oh, dude. That is awesome. Okay. All right, all right. Awesome, y'all. This is my very first bass out here. That's awesome. Bass here, right behind my house, on the worm. We got a carp, the small little panfish. One big carp, small carp, a little bad. This was unexpected, yo. Very unexpected. That is awesome. Get another one. Big carp and a bunch of little dinks. No catfish. It's only Friday, so we still got plenty more time to go, but that's an awesome fight on the all trail. Let's get him back in the water. All right, guys, we are out of worms. We've been fishing here for a while. We're gonna have to go to Academy, get some more worms, but uh, we give it a try. It's time to head in. All right, family, today is day two and we are going to do some more backyard fishing. We stocked up on worms this time. We got four boxes of worms. We're still after that big, at least 12 inch catfish so we can do this catch and cook. We have everything ready, just need the fish. So. Some cool colors. Wow. Yeah. I have a pack. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude, you got a fucking bass, bro. Oh. oh my god. Dude, he was after a bass and he got a fucking bass. I got jealous yesterday after he caught a bass. Oh. So I, was like, I didn't even oh know I had god. him. This is the second bass we've landed out here. What kind of fish is it? Oh, uh, this is a bass, which was what I was after, which is awesome. <laughs> All right, so we're not having any luck. Davey's got a bass. This is day two and we got a bass. That is like, I didn't think we'd ever get a bass here. But we're gonna go to another spot where I think we're gonna have better luck to catch fish. It's gonna storm in like an hour, two hours. You can already see the clouds. So we're gonna get out of here as quick as possible, travel light, and see if we can get that catfish so we can do this catch and cook. So let's go. We 
we are here at the new spot, one of the OG spots. Laura's in the back, she's fishing. Davies is right here, he's fishing. Trying to get this uh, this catfish. The other spot we were fishing uh, at, these dudes were doing some work and they were walking up and down the side of the water. Uh, so I think that they were scaring the fish and that's why we weren't getting as much bites as we were. But we're here at this spot to get a catfish. Let's make it happen. I think this is a cat. Oh my God, this is a cat. <gasps> Davies, get the knife. Hold on. This is the cat. This is the cat. This is the cat. Yo. We have tried and tried and tried and finally had him. Just so you guys all see, they have to be 12 inches in the state of Texas. 19 inches right there. You guys can see it, approximately 19 inches. Yep, 19 inches for sure. Gosh, two days, we're starting to run out of worms. And uh, yeah, we finally made it happen. This guy is gonna be in our catch and cook. I was starting to give up hope. I was starting to be like, no, we're not gonna catch anything. And then bam, we got him. Oh wow! Wait, how much is the? Uh... Hold on, wait, wait. Just hold it. Oh yeah, look at that! Look at that! Wow! Look just oh my god! Has to be so awesome. 18 inches, 18 inches for a flathead here. This is 19 and what three fourths? Yep. Wow! Crazy. We freaking bent that and took off with it. Like, holy crap, yo. All right, guys. We decided to move from the backyard uh, to come here and like literally in probably like an hour. How long have we been here? Not even that long, right? I don't think we've been here that long. We landed these two keeper-sized catfish. First time I've ever seen a flathead up close. And then got this catfish myself. They're both keepers. We're gonna get out of here. Starting to sprinkle, it's gonna rain, but yo, we got our fish for this catch and cook. We gotta go home, flay them, and uh, get them ready. Get it. Yo, that is awesome. <laughs> All right, guys, we are back at the crib. We got our both uh, catfish right here. I'm gonna flay them. I've never filleted a fish, really. Today's gonna be a first time. Let's see how it turns out. Did you wanna have them on the side? Said you want to feel the ribs. So I'm just gonna go slowly, just because I don't know. Yeah, what I'm basically trying not to do is get uh get the bones in there. Okay, go all the way through, just like they said. Just puncture the stomach, which I didn't want to do. Got one fillet. Filet. It's not the best. I think I could have possibly done better, but we're gonna give it to the turtles. Everything's gonna be eaten. I don't think it's that bad for my first one. Let's go on with this next one. Pretty sure somebody else could have done a better job. Unless this is really good tasting, I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, this doesn't taste good. That's on me. But I don't see myself filleting any more fish. Now we got to uh, take the skin off, which is. From what I heard, not the easiest part either, so oh. let's give it a try. We got the filets done. I was not the best. I looked at some tutorials on how to fillet catfish easily while it wasn't that easy. I don't plan on doing this ever again unless it was like so good. Like if it's like a filet mignon and like exquisite, like yo, I'm probably gonna do this again. Other than that, probably not. Now I just gotta wash these and uh, we're gonna get them ready to cook. All right, so the first thing you guys wanna do is make sure that your catfish is dried up. 
and uh, this is what we have right here of the catfish that we harvested. We cut it in small little pieces because I'm gonna make a taco, so I want the pieces to be small enough to put it in the tortilla. The first step, if you guys wanna do what we wanna do, um, I've seen basically a bunch of videos on catfish recipes. I'm like, I don't like this, I don't like that. So basically, I got a bunch of different things that I liked and I'm gonna put it into this uh, recipe. One thing that I seen was that they added mayo, and mustard onto the catfish. However, I wanna change it up a little bit and put some chipotle in it and see if it gives it a little kick to it. We're gonna mix it up. It's gonna be mostly mayo. Oh. There you go. And mix this up. Taste. Gucci. All right, so we're just gonna let that sit in there. I'm gonna put it in the fridge while I get the other stuff ready. All right, guys, so for the, and you guys can see it right here, I added it all up together in there. But this is all the stuff that you guys are gonna need. You need like a half a tablespoon of crab oil, a half a tablespoon of lemon pepper, a whole tablespoon of garlic, a whole tablespoon of onion powder, a cup of cornmeal, and a tablespoon of all-purpose flour. Now this all depends on how much you guys are gonna make. We're not making a lot. And I put it all in there. I'm gonna mix it up and then put the catfish in there. And you guys wanna try this before you actually put the catfish in there. That is perfect. Really? Try it. Mmm, mm -hmm. that is good. That's wow. Perfect. Got our catfish. Now we're gonna put it in there and then mix it. Just gonna mix it all in there. Next, we're going to make the pico de gallo. test mm. Mm. good right mm -hmm. mm. I got a little piece right here that we just made fresh. I'm gonna give it a try. Again, if the fish is good, it's gotta be good itself. It just has a thin little layer over it, some spices, but this should be taste good itself. Now I have to douse it in lemon, salsa, Cholula, Valentina sauce, whatever you gotta put on it, tortillas. No, it, this should just be good itself. And again, I do not like to eat fish at all. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm gonna, let's see how this tastes. That's not fishy at all. Yay! You can taste the catfish. I've had catfish before. But more of a, you bought it at the store and you ate it. This is wild catfish. That's not bad at all. That's actually really good. And that's just the catfish itself. It's taco time. Got the tilla from Mandilla. Let's get some of these. Now, again, we cut them in small little pieces. So we could make some in tacos. Let's sit on the lip. Now, again, the catfish was good already without any of this. This is just a bonus. Let's try it out. Mm. 
The only thing that's weak in this is the jalapeno. Need to give a little bit uh, better kick. Look, I can fish, no doubt. But I'm also a good chef. Laura, try this out. Mm -hmm. Can't give your opinion yet. You gotta try it. Then maybe take a, a bite from there, from the back end. That's a catfish. Good or what? I mean, give your honest opinion. If it's trash, it's trash. No. That is so good. Might be the mustard and the mayo with the chipotle, but it all goes together perfectly. Mm -hmm. Like, that is that is good. Davies? Do you feel? Like, you should feel proud of yourself. You caught this. Give your honest opinion. If it's trash, it's trash. Like, if it's not good, you didn't like it. If it needs something, it just needs something. Mm -hmm. All right? All right. Your honest opinion. Fish isn't for everybody. Try it, swish it around. <laughs> Might be some uh, unique taste flavors to it. No, that's good. That's yeah? Good. Yeah, that's good. Yo, not even- They don't even taste fish or air. Not at yeah. all. Not that's at good. all. I'm honestly surprised. Like that turned out good. Like hella good. Mm -hmm. like, we went out on a two day trip we caught, <laughs> caught a bunch of other fish, but we could not get perfect sized catfish. So um, yeah, we decided to go to one of the OG spots that you guys have seen other videos. And we landed two in less than an hour. The one was like 19, one was like 18 inches, mm -hmm. all legal sizes. That is awesome um, to be able to do that. Yo, dude finished his own taco. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, no, there's plenty more. Like look, look how much, this was just uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That turned out phenomenal. That was perfect. This was an accomplishment. Again, if you guys want to see more of these videos, um, let us know. But yeah, yo. This shouldn't be our last time doing this, by the way. No, no, not with catfish. But, oh, alligator gar. Uh -huh. We want to try alligator gar. Um, probably do the same seasoning, everything that we did. If you guys want to know the recipe, it's going to be in the link below. But yeah, I, I think gar. We can easily get a gar. We can get a gar and we can make this happen. I still have to catch my first gar. He still has to catch mm -hmm. his first gar. Um, it's going to happen. It's yeah, a lot, a lot of sure. stuff is happening this year. The only thing that's slowing us down is the coronavirus. Again, we're promoting the whole stay at home or if you go fishing, don't fish in places that are too crowded. For all you people who are young like me, don't just think, oh, I'm my immune system them is strong and this and that no it's not about us it's about everybody else and we all have to pitch in and stop spreading this whole thing from going on obviously there are deaths people are dying out there from this virus it's not just about us we got to think for everybody but um yo awesome job took two days but we made it happen mm -hmm. till next time it's your boy v